Hey guys, again here, and welcome to um, another Infamous 2 UGC commentary video. This is actually, I'm actually uh, commentating this live, actually, so. Yeah, in this UGC commentary video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to make a UGC level pretty fast, actually. And in this case, a gang war. So I've already picked my spot I'm around here in the uh, first district. And so we're going to click user generated mission. I've never used a template before. Oh, sweet, the new search feature from the update. Yes, yes, will uh, create empty mission. That's always what I do. So actually, this is my first uh, infamous to uh, UGC commentary video that I'm live doing the commentary live for. Okay, first thing you want to do is go on this and edit groups. Wrong one. Wow, I'm such a pro. Okay, edit groups. You can just keep your default groups. Add new group. That's good enough. You can change if uh, you can um you can hit X on this, change the color, change its name if you're really gonna go that intricate, you know, do all this stuff. Um, I've never used a parent group before. There really isn't much need for it unless you're nuts. Um, then the first thing I start off with, if I know what I'm doing in this case, it's a gang war. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the menu. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit triangle. Bring out a monitor which allows you to you know, change certain things in the game, like in this case, when all group one, okay, let's make it when all default group are wounded or killed, we can do destroyed, triggered, collected, when all incapacitated or defeated, because you might not down them all, but you know, you might not do arc restraint or bio kill the evil thing on them all, when all default group are <laughs> all default group are incapacitated or defeated. You connect this with triangle to mission success. You win, right? Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is um place our default group. Default group can be anything, of course. Okay, it's gonna be enemies. We're fighting enemies, right? We're gonna throw some militia down. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Square. Oh my god. And some of them just look different automatically. You can go back and change that if you want. But, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to throw down uh, one more. Then on this side, or in the middle right here, we're going to put um, a little more difficult enemies. We're going to probably have like one ice heavy, two ice heavies. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe like... No, no, no. Yeah, you don't want to unload the asset pack. We're going to throw in... Not a crusher. Those guys have a little... Too much health. We're going to have an ice soldier. Sorry. Ice soldier. Ice soldier. Okay. Those are all in the default group. Okay. That doesn't... Uh, that means, you know... That does not necessarily... I mean, you know, they're going to be hostile towards coal because they're enemies automatically. You know, they're enemies. They're going to be hostile towards coal. Okay. But now what we want to do... Because we want to pick enemy people that are going to be on our side. And one little tip, wherever you're standing is where the first icon is going to be placed. And wherever you place that little icon, the quest, the explanation put up there, is exactly where you're going to start. And exactly where the mission is going to appear. So what I want is I'm going to have a bunch of swamp monsters on my side. Okay? But they, it all says group one still. We can switch that very quickly. After we place our swamp monsters. They might be in the way. And, um... So now one more thing we want to do is, um, let's add a different enemy. We're going to, let's actually do the police. Yeah. And I'm not counting the numbers at all here. Okay, now one more thing. We're going to throw in on this side. No, you know what? Not this side. We're going to have him standing right next to Cole. Well, not that way. We're going to... Oh, well, I'm out. Never mind, I was going to do Zeke, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm full. I used up all the different character types. Now what we're going to do, these guys are still default group. These are going to attack me. Or these are guys are group one, right? Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to lay down another monitor. You can, um, if you want to, like, branch them out using a splitter, but you don't really have to. Um, now what we want to do is, okay, this is what we're going to do, okay, when the mission starts, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm moving ahead too fast, I'm talking too fast, what am I going to do? Now you want to do the here, okay, you want to put mission starts, right? Now you want to do, um, where is it, where is it, where is it, it doesn't matter. When the mission starts, uh, when the mission starts, 
make uh what's it called? I'm using the wrong one, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's what I thought. On object modifiers, these modify objects. When the mission starts, okay, make group one hostile towards coal. So we can throw right here. Now, I could use a splitter if I wanted to. I could put a splitter right here and then delete this connection. Get it? Delete this connection. And then plug this up to the splitter. And then plug this connection in here. And then make another object modifier. When mission starts, um, have, um, uh, what is it? Have default group neutral towards coal. Okay, and one more thing. If we do another object modifier, okay. When the objects, uh, when the object starts, when the mission starts, have mission hostility. Where are you? Hostility, hostility. Where? Okay. So we have have default group hostile towards group one. So they're going to attack. Now there are other ways that you can actually set up and have the enemy, or have enemies, or have a group actually follow Cole, and have that group defend Cole, but this is a quick and easy way to do it, you know, so it's kind of like they're on the, his side. This is an easy way to have them so they defend Cole, or not defend Cole, but you're, actually there are other ways to have them defend Cole and follow Cole completely and look like a squad. But this is a quick and easy way. Have default group hostile towards group one, and then if we even, you know, just to be safe, or, you know, kind of go overboard a bit, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of, I don't know, be a perfectionist. Not a perfectionist, but have... Now have group one hostile towards default group. And now connect all of these. Because you have four... You have four um, outputs. Or inputs. No, outputs for, for the splitter. Now, when the mission starts, add group one to the world. Make default group neutral towards coal. Make default group hostile towards group one. Make group one hostile towards default group. Oh, and I'm missing one. Now you can just make another when the mission starts. Mission starts. Okay. We can have group one host towards coal. That's what I've totally forgotten. There. Now make default group neutral towards coal. Make default group hostile towards group one. Make group one hostile towards default group. Now all I do is switch these guys switch these guys group over to default group and we should be good except for adding scenery different things we're so far away okay we're gonna switch all these guys to default group make sure you do this or they're just all gonna turn around and attack you even the cops and the thing is if I kill a cop even though I've set them up to attack me I will get bad karma because I'm playing as my good Cole still so that's the thing and that's that. Now all the guys over there are still group one. And now if we want to like do something, add some scenery, you know. Plop up some like walls that we can hide behind or something. Which we can do if we want. Which I might do. Just throw a wall down here or something. You know? And the, the core objects don't like use up a thing. Or they kind of do because you have only that many things. Then we can add circle, move it, you know, put it right there. Good. And then, so mission success. You know, okay, mission start. Now you can go here to edit the name, the caption, and the objective. Okay. I don't know. What, and then, um, primary tag, you know, you have two of this tag would be, you know, it would be gang war, and the second tag would be battle, you know, time of day, storm is always cool. Now if you start the mission, um, what's going to happen is this, um, basically what's going to happen if you start the mission in this state, none of them are going to be attacking this because they're set to hostile, but none of them are close. None of them are close to each other, close enough or at least in range to actually start attacking. So they're all hostile to each other, you know, they're not hostile to me, my team, so...
That's what's gonna happen. Oh uh, yeah. Next thing we go to. Now, what we need to do is we need to um, open up another monitor. Start another, you know, make another monitor. And then do when the mission starts, like always. When the mission starts. Now this is the, you want to use orders. Orders. Order default group to assault group one. Then we're going to put a splitter right here. And put another object modifier. Order, where is it? Order group one to assault default group. And then all we do is put that there and then have that attached to there. Have that attached to there. Okay, what all group one. Play mission. When all yeah, when all group when all group one are defeated, you win. That was my own team. They're incapacitated, I was not. Remember whenever you Reload on energy that also heals you. You got an ice guy running over here. And that's it. New mission. Done. Thanks guys for watching my uh, my infamous 2 UGC commentary video. I'll see you guys next time on whatever video I have up, you know, man. Uh, see you later. I'm not going to be...